we're asked to determine the limit using L'Hopital's rule. Let's first check the form of the limit. As x approaches zero, 6x approaches zero, and so does sine x. If you need the review, I graphed y equals sine x at the bottom. Looking at the graph of y equals sine x, notice as we approach x equals zero from the right and from the left, we are approaching the y value or function value of zero. So the numerator approaches zero, and the denominator, as x approaches zero, seven x approaches zero, and so does tangent x, the denominator also approaches zero. And again, if you need the review, I graphed y equals tangent x at the bottom. As we approach x equals zero from the right and from the left, once again, we are approaching the y value or function value of zero. So because the limit is in the indeterminate form of zero divided by zero, we can apply L'Hopital's rule to help us determine the limit. L'Hopital's rule states, the limit as x approaches c of f of x divided by g of x equals the limit as x approaches c of f prime of x divided by g prime of x. So let's work on determining the derivative of the numerator and the derivative of the denominator. The derivative of six x minus sine x is equal to six minus cosine x. And the derivative of seven x minus tangent x is equal to seven minus secant squared x. In this form, we can determine the limit by performing direct substitution. The limit is equal to six minus cosine zero divided by seven minus secant squared zero. Cosine zero is equal to one, and so is secant zero, giving us the quantity six minus one divided by the quantity seven minus the square of one, which is equal to five six. And as a decimal rounded to four decimal places, five six is approximately 0 0.8333. Before we go, let's verify this limit graphically. So here we have the graph of the original function, y equals the quantity six x minus sine x divided by the quantity seven x minus tangent x. Analyzing the graph, notice as we approach x equals zero from the right and from the left, we can see we are approaching the y value or function value of approximately 0 0.833, which we already know from our work is the decimal approximation for the exact limit of 5, 6. I hope you found this helpful.